Hi, this is Saba from onboarding team. So I'm going to talk about joining forms, how to fill these forms and what are the necessary details that uh, you have to fill and we can go through all the process. Let's start from uh, first form background verification. So this is the background verification form. Please ignore first page. Ignore client reference number also. You have to start from personal details. You have to fill your basic details, your name, father name, date of birth, place of birth, gender, marital status. Fix your photograph here. In contact details, you have to write your contact number. In other details, you have to write your passport, PAN and Aadhaar number. So if you are unable to take these checkboxes, you can highlight it. Second is education details. So we require only highest education. For example, if your highest education is graduation, so just tick on graduation, don't tick on 10th or 12th. Tick accordingly whether it is full time, part time or correspondence completed. Yes, then you have to write your student ID, enrollment number or roll number. In college name, you have to write your college name along with the address. Then you have to write your university name, degree name, specialization, from to to date and graduation date you have to write. Basically, you have to fill all the fields. In employment details, we required previous employment only. So tick accordingly, nature of employment, whether it is permanent, temporary or agency, full time or part time, self-employed, no, current designation, then you have to write your department on role company. Here you have to write your company name as per the salary slip. Then head office address along with the contact number. If you have deputed company or client side, just write the company name here. Otherwise leave the blank. In employment tenure, make sure it should be correct. Then you have to write your employee code, previous employee code, grade, key responsibilities and reason for leaving. Then uh, reporting manager details, we require name of the manager, personal mobile number, official mail ID. Same in HR case, we require name of HR, personal mobile number and official mail ID. These details are mandatory. Then in permanent address details, you have to write your complete postal address. Then you have to write the contact person who is available at home, then mobile number. On last page, we require signature, name, date and place. Second form is declaration form. So in self declaration form, don't write the date in front of those documents which you already provided. For example, if you already provide your 10th mark sheet, 12th mark sheet, graduation mark sheet, degree, photo ID. So just leave the blank. If you haven't provided your relieving letter and service certificate, just write the tentative date within 60 days. Then you have to write your previous organization name. Effective date is your relieving date. Then name, signature, HSC employee number. Uh, will, HSC employee number will be provided. Date of joining is today's date. Then name, signature, HSC employee code and date of joining are required on second page also. Then you have to fill PF form. So there is two forms for PF, form 2 and form 11. Then again, you have to write uh, HSC employee number here. Then you have to fill basic details, your name, father name, date of birth, marital status, permanent address and present address you have to write. Then you have to fill the nominees details for PF. So you have to write your nominee name, relation with the nominee, date of birth, percentage, whatever you want to give the nominee, just write the percentage, then date and signature are required. So if you are married, you have to fill these details. And for EPF, if you are unmarried, you have to fill these details. Then date and signature are required. Next form is form 11. 
So this is form 11. You have to write your name here. Then you have to uh, write your father name or spouse name, then date of birth, gender, marital status. Then you have to write your email ID and mobile number. Tick accordingly whether you are uh, EPF scheme uh, member 1952 and 1955. Then you have if you are tick on yes, then you have to provide UN number. PF account number, date of exit is your relieving date, scheme certificate uh, no, and PPO no. Then international worker tick accordingly. Then you have to write your passport number, passport validity. In KYC details, you have to write your saving account number with IFSC code, Aadhaar number, and PAN number. Then date and signature are required. Last form is graduate form. Again, you have to write HSC employee code here. Then your full name. For graduate, we require nominee details, name of the nominee, relation with the nominee, age of nominee, and portion by which the graduate will be shared. Just write the percentage. Then you have to fill your basic details, your name, date of joining, gender, and address permanent and present address, then date, place, and signature are required. So you have to submit these uh, joining forms on the day of joining, uh, by end of the day of joining.